Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University. As part of uh, uh, CCA uh, Spark and Hadoop Developer Certification, I started covering uh, the most common issues people start facing when they start uh, practicing for the certification following my videos. So one frequent question I get is about uh, this uh, exception, uh, connection refused. So the way you troubleshoot this is uh, whenever the connection refuse issue comes, it will give the IP address and port number um, uh, with that. <coughs> so this IP address and port number are related to name node. And if there is a connection refuse to this, that means uh, uh, most likely the HDFS services are down. So to fix this issue, what you need to do is you need to start the Cloudera Quick Start VM. Means if, uh, and then if you have access to Cloudera Manager, means if, you, if your laptop has 16 GB RAM and if your VM is coming up without any issues, if your Cloudera Manager is also coming up, you can click on this, click on I agree. And it will ask for username and password. Cloudera, Cloudera is the default username and password. And you can go here. And you can see that most of the statuses are in question mark, which means that it is not able to determine what is happening with the service. So one way to fix this issue of uh, unknown status is to start the Cloudera management service. So you can say restart and everything will be uh, restarted. That means that the Cloudera management service will be restarted. Once it is restarted, you will see the actual status of these services. Even if you don't uh, have it up and running, uh, the Cordero management service, still you can click on HDFS. So provided on uh, what type of service the uh, DAB is coming. In this case, by seeing the host name and IP address, I can say that uh, it's related to HDFS. And uh, as it is related to HDFS, I can click on HDFS and go to HDFS service. And then uh, uh, I can uh, see the status of uh, each of the uh, components of the HDFS service. Specifically, the other here is related to the name node, IP address, and port number. In this case, it is uh, this one. You can click on this, and you can check whether the uh, whether it is up and running or not. So even if uh, my Cloudera manager cannot determine the states. Uh, you can still click on name node web UI like this and you can tell whether the name node uh, is up and running or not. If the node, name node is not up and running, this page will not come up. In that case, what you can do is you can go to home. Irrespective of you see uh, the status uh, in uh, uh, green or red or yellow, which means uh, the status is telling you something whether it is healthy or not. Irrespective of it, you can still go to the service, uh, click on the small square behind the service, and then click on restart, and it will restart all the services uh, that are associated with it and also all the dependent services. Once that is done, you will be able to uh, start without any issues. But if your Cloudera manager is not uh, coming up for any reason, then uh, it will be a little bit challenging for you to bring up the services. I will try to cover that also. Yeah, um, I, I will not recommend you to go to command line and do this. Uh, you can put uh, uh, the entire VM at risk. So I will suggest you to go with Cloudera manager route only. So make sure you start the Cloudera manager. If uh, the Cloudera manager is not coming up, you can run this command. On desktop, you can see, not on the desktop, on the home directory itself, you can see a script. So there is a script called Cloudera Manager. You can run this script. <coughs> like this. Cloudera Manager, and hit enter, it will, uh, you need to run it as sudo. And then you have to tell what you want to use. 
enterprise and then force so even if your laptop does not have 16 gb ram and if you even if you did not give 8 gb ram to your vm still it will try to start all the services but only issue will be uh, your uh, uh, vm might be in unstable state it can be it can crash any time so once you do this once you start with this it will bring up the cloud era manager irrespective of the size of uh, uh, memory on your uh, vm and uh, you can go to the cloud era manager bookmark on the uh, firefox bookmarks which uh, which is provided as part of the vm and then you can click on it and it will ask you for the username and password you can log in using it and then you can manage the services from here so this is how you can uh, uh, troubleshoot and uh, work around and the issue of connection refused in 99% of the cases if you get this uh, error that means uh, your name node is not up and running and you have to start the services as i have mentioned in this video that being said i hope you are enjoying the content on my channel especially in the playlist if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you uh want to discuss about certifications uh, 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 join my linkedin group hadoop uh, certifications it it versity hadoop certifications and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this all time thank you bye